I'm like kind of smiling in this video. So. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very private. I never really share too much of my life. I never really wanted people to feel sorry for me or like help me with anything. Like I always just wanted to be like super independent. This is shocking. <laughs> and I'm putting it on the internet so it's just kind of weird. I'm making this video. It is the night before I start my cancer treatment. My chemo treatment. Mon tomorrow morning I have to be at the doctor at 9 15 arrive by 8 45 i'll probably get there at like 8 30 maybe even 8 20 because your girl be nervous i am excited i know it sounds weird i keep telling people that like it's so crazy to just say you're excited for somebody to put drugs on you and for your life to like change like instantly in like a matter of a couple months and like physically and but to be honest, I've been like going to the doctor for like months now. I guess I've kind of known for like the last month and a half, maybe two months that it may be lymphoma. So I kind of like wrapped my head around it. I've cried, I've cried and I've cried, but I've got to a point where it's like, you know, it is <laughs> what it is. I don't know what else to say. Uh, and to me, I'm excited because tomorrow seems like the first day of a new beginning you know like it's the start of the next phase of my life and it's the start of like a treatment it's the start to me like being healthy it's the start of me like being back to my like life and feeling okay you know so i'm excited when it comes to that aspect because i have been going to the doctor maybe like every other week sometimes multiple times a week for for since like june june july you know and even before then it was april mayish i don't know it's been it's been months of me trying to figure out what's wrong with me and i'm going to talk about this more in like my cancer story um so if you <laughs> if you haven't watched that uh i'll link it but um it's been a long time of me just trying to figure it out and like I said, it's it's crazy to know that it is here and I'm so excited. This would be something that I would want to look back on. Kind of like a video diary of like what's going on during this time. Again, I, I'm not a person that normally posts like personal stuff. This is like one of those times where I feel like I'm going to have to kind of be vulnerable on the internet and that's like weird i've been like stressing out the last couple of weeks about what i can eat what i can't eat um i'm already like a picky eater so now it's kind of just like makes it even more limited um yeah i have medicines i have all of this uh clothes ready i have everything like mentally prepared i'm gonna read over like books and everything and every morning we are going to be going to our cancer treatment um oh something i can show you uh my port so this is my port it, it's right here it's gross it's not gross it's it's gross because it's still in the healing stage and i had to have surgery along with the port so that's why i have like extra scars that's where they're going to insert the chemo treatment I'm not gonna do this whole video. I mean, these all these treatments in my in my bathroom either. But my boyfriend is watching football, so I decided to like be here. My boyfriend actually went outside. So one of the things that has been kind of like difficult is the fact that, like I said, when it comes to diet. So this weekend, I've been trying to like get all my cravings in out. Um, red curry. Uh, I got chicken this time. Sometimes I just do all vegetables. Then because we ha I haven't ate since breakfast, which was probably like. 10 o'clock this morning and it's 6:41. it's another thing i don't get hungry that much anymore so it's like i have to remind myself to eat so this is me reminding myself to eat <laughs> all right you guys this is my last spicy meal it's so good <laughs> good morning <laughs> it is 6.50 oh it's 7.04 now um yeah I am finna try to go back to sleep my boyfriend woke up to take the dog out he's gonna come with me for the first visit uh <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like it's weird because 
Like I knew he wanted to, he hasn't said anything and I'm just the type of person that, <clears throat> and I'm realizing it now, that I find it really hard to just like ask for people like help. So, I don't know, <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't eat. <clears throat> I knew he wanted to come, but I kind of made it seem like I didn't need him to come and I'll be okay by myself. But I'm glad he decided to just come and thought about it. We both barely got any sleep last night. Uh, I literally tossed and turned all night. And then this morning I like did like this with my nose a little too hard. And yeah, it started bleeding. So I think that my nerves are like there. Uh, I mean, it is the first day and all that stuff. <sighs> but I'm gonna try to get some sleep maybe like for another like 30, 45 minutes until I have to get up and get ready because I have to be at the doctor by 8.45. So, I don't know. I am I am tired. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. And right now all I'm looking forward to is going to the doctor and coming back home so that I can go back to sleep. <laughs> we are back home. <laughs> and I'm still sleepy. I didn't really sleep, but we need to get ready, so I'm going to take a shower, brush my teeth, get dressed, um, do all of that fun stuff really quick. So that I was like, can I sound? You push it down, but it's so weird to push. Oh God. Why did he? <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> All right, we got it on, got it open, and we are about to head out. and yeah I have successfully finished my first chemo treatment um, because it was the first visit it ran kind of long <laughs> and so the first of like I went to see my hematologist so my actual like doctor who like I talked to and who like diagnosed me and who like did my treatment like regimen and things like that I went to talk to them because every time I guess they're gonna do my little port and 
this is what we're looking like but anyway so they have to run your blood first and you know a bunch of tests to make sure you're not pregnant just a bunch of things you have to do pre chemo before you can even do the chemo so i have to do those first and then we went to the chemo um um this is the the treatment um also because it was my first visit um i got a lot of like steroids and anti-nausea medicine and um they did them separately because they didn't want me to you know they wanted to see if i would have any allergic reactions so they were just very cautious about everything did the pre-medications and that was like another hour and then after that the chemo treatments and the first one which is i'm not going to act like i know how to pro pronounce this but doxyrubicin was uh administered over 20 minutes the vibroblasting was over 10 minutes the blimycin was 10 minutes and the dicarbazine was over an hour um it was really nice though they were really sweet i like everyone at my cancer facility like they have been like so kind like literally from the first day that i walked into this building they have been like super sweet and so kind and like i think it just helps like everything <laughs> just having people who are so sweet around you all the time we are back in our apartment we went to grab some food because i haven't eaten i had some water i had some peanut butter crackers and some graham crackers and some ice chips I'm not hungry like I don't feel like I need to eat but I want to eat because I just want to feel um I don't know I think I was talking about this yesterday like I just don't have an appetite uh, <laughs> so it's kind of like me forcing myself to eat because I know that if I don't then I might get like nausea fatigue um I fainted the a couple weeks ago so I'm just trying to like make sure I eat like that's just like my goal like eat something Caleb like eat Oh, this is my chemo fit. They put these little coat stickers on everything. <laughs> Basic. But yeah, I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick. All right, so <clears throat> we went to Bang Bang Burger. Out what I can't eat and what's safe and all that. So I decided to get a chicken sandwich with broccoli. And this is just cheese, lettuce, and onions. <laughs> Look very healthy, I'm not gonna lie. See, I feel like Shiv pissed me off more than Kendall. Um, <laughs> even though, I mean, in the end, it turned out okay for them ish, kinda, but I don't know if it did. I mean, Logan, he wouldn't have done it, but. That's why I think she was just, I don't know. I don't think, originally I was thinking, yeah, shit probably should be like the CEO. But now I don't know. Yeah, I think. I think I'm leaning more towards Roman. Um, after we finished eating, I went to sleep. <laughs> I fell asleep on the couch watching SNL and then I came to the bed and took a nap. So I've been up for like the last like hour and a half just doing it nothing. Um, I feel, I feel fine. I feel normal. Um, I don't know if it's cause I had so much medicine like before during the treatments. Um, to keep me from feeling nauseous. So, I don't know. I might do one or two things. I might end this video here <laughs> as the first day of my cancer treatment video. Or I might just like record throughout the week depending on like how I'm feeling. But like at this moment, I feel normal. Like it was, it was not as scary as it may seem. So if you are going through this, um, just keep your head up. Um, yeah, we'll we'll get through it. <laughs> uh yeah. We'll see if this is the end. <laughs>